Hi, this is Pat Studstill from freetolive.me. I currently work with uh, clients who have multiple chronic illnesses. And today I really wanted to share something for everyone to offer my help and support to anyone who is feeling stressed, overwhelmed, fear, anxiety, worry, or any other emotion during these stressful times, during this virus and pandemic. Um, so stress, we know uh, by medical research now, the estimates are that 90% of all illness and disease is stress related. And so I wanted to help you uh, release that stress so that you're not your body is not expressing it through an illness so that is why I'm offering this video for you to share with your friends and your family anyone who is feeling stress or emotional about all of these events taking place in our world today um, before we get started I want to offer a couple of um, directions, I guess, medical disclaimer first. Um, I am not a medical doctor. I am not a psychiatrist or psychologist. I just understand and know how the mind works and I'm able to help you release stress and emotions so that your body can calm down, your central nervous system can calm down and that keeps you at peace. And the more at peace you are, the less your body will it react with stress-related illness. So that's number one. Number two, if this is a very, very powerful um, technique that I will be sharing with you, you will get a good response from it. Before you use this, I want you to check with your doctor if you feel is necessary. It's always good to check with your doctor before you use anything new if you already have a chronic illness. Um, but use common sense with this, with this technique. And also third, we are going to be touching our face. And so before you begin, please pause this video and take a moment to go wash your hands thoroughly and then come back and join us. All right, so after you have washed your face, we will begin. You may wanna get a pencil and a piece of paper. This might be helpful for you um, to write down what you are experiencing before we ever get started so that you can see how far you've come by the end of the video. So I want you to think about all the stress that you may be currently experiencing specifically having to do with the viral pandemic that we're, we are all globally experiencing. Think about the stress or the fear of getting the virus, you know, or the fear of all of our futures. So many nations have shut down and are on lockdown and so many businesses have been closed due to this, this pandemic. So there may be a lot of fear around it. And if you want to pause the video, get a pen and a paper and write down what your feelings are, what you're experiencing. Maybe you're experiencing uh, a high level of you know, anxiety and worry about what might happen. You know, maybe you're, you own a business and you don't know what's gonna happen after the lockdown or, af or after the, what is it? We're all on quarantine, sort of, um, staying in our homes. It's not really called lockdown, but all of us are kind of keeping social distancing, maybe I should say. Um, so maybe you're concerned about what might happen after we're no longer social distancing. Like when we get to go back to work, are you, do you still even have a business to go back to? Do you still have a job? Maybe you're wondering or worrying and having anxiety about, um, you know, what could happen, what's going to happen. Maybe you're missing your routines. You know, a lot of us live our lives based on routine and we're, we no longer have the normal routines. We've, our whole lives have been disrupted by this pandemic. So maybe you're missing those routines and I want you to write that down, feel it, honor those feelings. Maybe you're missing community. 
you, you're not, you know, attending church or, you know, your synagogue or some gathering that you're used to gathering together with your friends or groups of friends or going out to dinner with friends. You know, maybe there's a longing and a missing of, of the routines that you normally have. So if that's true, write that down. Um, maybe there's overwhelm, uncertainty, uh, anger is another one. Maybe you're feeling angry at our leaders for how they've handled this pandemic or how they've not handled it. Maybe you're angry at the Chinese or maybe you're, you know, frustrated. Frustration is another uh, emotion you may be feeling over, you know, how the, ha the pandemic is being handled or how it's not being handled in the way you feel it should be handled. Um, so there's a lot of emotions and feelings that you may be experiencing. So I want you to just write it down or either just notice it right now. Honor those feelings just for a moment and for the last time. So what you wanna do is uh, think about what bothers you about this whole experience. And then notice if you have any feelings, sensations about it in your body. Notice, you know, any memory of hearing the newscasters say this or that and that really bothered you, or maybe you just have images in your mind about it. So notice anything at all about it that bothers you and how it does bother you. So just notice how you know. All right. And now I want you to give it a rating on a scale of one. It doesn't bother me too much. 10, it is really strong. I am so stressed out, frustrated, stressed, worried, whatever it is, anxiety, fears. Give it a rating, write it down if you want to. And then now we're gonna begin. So before we get started, I want you to answer this question for me. If I gave you a handful of helium filled balloons and you opened your hand, what happens to those balloons naturally when your hand is open? That's right, it floats away. Very good. Okay, so take two fingers, tap between your eyes and repeat after me. We are eliminating all stresses. Beside your eyes, we're eliminating, eliminating all overwhelm. Underneath your eyes, we are eliminating all uncertainty top of your chest. We are eliminating all fear. Between your eyes, releasing all the fear of the future. Beside your eyes, releasing the fear of this virus and of catching it. Underneath your eyes, we're letting go of all anxiety. Top of your chest, where a man ties his tie, we're letting go of all worries between your eyes again, we're releasing all frustrations. Frustrated over how our leaders are handling this. Frustration over how our leaders are not handling this. Top of your chest, my anger toward our leaders. Between your eyes, I let go of this missing feeling. Missing my routines. Missing my community, missing my social gathering, my church. Between your eyes, I let go of missing eating out or going out to, to, to eat or going to the gym. I just let it all go. Okay, you want to grab your wrist, take another deep breath in. Blow it out, peace. Okay, so in your mind, go to a place, step into a happy memory that made you feel really good or go to a place in nature that makes you feel really good, really peaceful or, or happy or joyous. Recall what it was like, what you saw, what you heard, what you felt. And then grab your wrist again, deep breath in, blow it out, and peace. 
Okay. Now we want to go back and check it again one more time. That stress, the overwhelm, the fear, the anxiety, the worry, whatever it was for you, notice it. Notice how it changed. And notice what's left with it. Got it? Maybe it's come down in strength. Just notice. And then notice what's left and tap between your eyes. I release all these remaining feelings beside your eyes. I'm letting go of all remaining emotions underneath your eyes. I release all the remaining beliefs about it. Top of your chest. I'm letting it all go. Grab your wrist. Take a deep breath in. Blow it out. And grab your wrist again. Peace. And go to your happy place or your happy memory. Step into it. See what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt. Notice how good it feels. Peace. Okay, so we want to check that one more time. That emotion, the stress, the overwhelm, the fears, whatever it was for you. Go back, check it again, notice it. Notice how it changed. And notice what is left with it. All right, tap between your eyes. I'm letting it go. Tap beside your eyes. It is time to let it go. Underneath your eyes. I've tortured myself with these feelings long enough. Top of your chest. I am safe as I let it go. Grab your wrist, take a deep breath in, blow it out, and peace and go to your happy place your happy moment your happy memory your happy experience see it feel it hear it experience it peace okay so you may have noticed that it's no longer there it may have changed for you um, if there's more left what I would what I recommend is that you go back to the beginning of this video, replay it again, and just repeat the process. Now, this is a simplified version of what I do when I'm working with clients. Um, so I hope this is very helpful for you to be able to release that stress and emotion and take good care of yourself. If you'd like more information about how I help people who have multiple chronic illnesses or pain, you can go to www.freetolive.me. That is free to live.me. And there you'll find more information and you can set up a free consultation so that I can talk with you about your needs and how I can serve you. Thank you.